Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video and this time it's a discussion video. I don't think I've ever done just a flat out discussion video, but I figured now is the time for this one. I mean, we are a week away pretty much from Christmas. So my question to you guys, if you could call up Santa Claus and ask for five specific Transformer figures, what would they be? They can be ones that already exist, or they could be like your dream figure. So anything that hasn't been produced yet that you'd like to see. So I'm going to start off with my five is number one, I would love a modern version of Monstructor. This guy, I don't think we've seen a Hasbro release of Monstructor since the late 80s. And it is definitely time to get a new version of this figure or figures and actually make him a decent size now. I mean, I think in IDW, he was this monstrous combiner and this guy, he's shorter than your average Voyager. So there's number one. I want a modern Monstructor. Number two, you've heard me say this before. I want a modern Bludgeon. You give me, I want one of these so bad. I love Bludgeon. He was one of my favorite characters from the original Marvel run. And he's one that is definitely due an update as well. I mean, the last one we got was that little tiny Titan Master one that turned into a gun. It just didn't do justice to this character. So number two, Bludgeon. Number three, another figure I've mentioned many, many times I want to see remade, redone modernized Thunderwing, another personal favorite of mine from the Marvel comics. I absolutely loved this character, the only Decepticon that was able to wield the Matrix and use it against Optimus Prime. Not to mention, he has a great alt mode, this supersonic spaceship. And, you know, kind of like Bludgeon, I don't care if he's a pretender or not. I just want a good looking modern Thunderwing that goes more with the Marvel comic look opposed to his IDW look that had this weird jack-o'-lantern face. And that's the one we got, I believe, for the Thrilling 30 line. But man, I think a leader class or supreme class Thunderwing would be awesome. And that was number three. Number four is one we really need to complete our trio of modernized Decepticon Target Masters and I'm talking Needle Nose here. We've got Quake. We've got Spinister. Where the heck is Needle Nose? Come on, man. We need Needle Nose to round out that trio. And once again, this is one I don't think that we've had a modern take on since the late 80s. So, yeah, great character, great vehicle mode, and he's a target master. We've got so many battle masters and target masters now. Come on, Hasbro, Needle Nose. Now, that is number four. And lastly, my number five, another one I know I've mentioned over and over again. I want, please, Santa, bring me a Generation 1 Overlord. This, of course, is the Titans Return version. I have the Fans Hobby Double Evil over on my shelf. A great figure, but man, I don't know why. I just want a G1 Overlord. One of my subscribers lent me one earlier on in the year. I had a chance to review it, fell in love with it. I mean, it's a G1 brick, but it's a glorious G1 brick, and I would love to have one in my collection. So, Santa, if you're watching, it'd be really cool if you were a subscriber. Put a Generation 1 Overlord under my tree, please. So, that's pretty much it for my Christmas wish list for 2021. Uh, what's yours? In the comments below, give me your five Transformers that you wish Santa Claus will put under your tree. I am looking so forward to reading those. 
Once again, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!